Today is day 16 of 30 day lead coding challenge and today we are solving problem number 678 of lead code and it's called valid parenthesis string and this is slightly different from normal validity check where we have just open and closing braces here we have one additional character called asterisk so what is the meaning of asterisk here so this uh, asterisk it can take three values you can make it this you can convert it to this or you can just ignore it in that case you can think of empty string empty character that is it is of no use so uh, that conversion we will do based on uh, which uh, bracket is required so if converting asterisk to any of these makes your string balanced then you will convert it to that so these three conversions are allowed this is empty string that is you simply strike out that character you ignore that so let's see the validity uh, in order for validity uh, you must have a closing braces for every opening braces so any opening braces there is a corresponding closing braces and that should come after it it's not that it's like this and you will say that for this opening braces i have this closing braces so it's balanced no for any opening bracket uh, the closing bracket should come after this and similarly for every closing bracket you should have a corresponding opening bracket before it and not after it so for opening it should be after for closing it should be before and if that is not the case let's say you have a string like this so here you don't have a opening bracket corresponding to this but you are allowed to convert this asterisk to opening bracket so you will convert it to opening bracket and now you have a balance here and uh, now let's based on this uh, knowledge let's try out these examples so here you have one to one for this opening you have a closing after this and similarly for this so it's a valid here also for this one this is the closing bracket and uh, this asterisk is left here so you convert it to empty string so this is same as this you strike out this so it's also balanced similarly here uh, you can convert this to opening bracket mm, then it will become and now you see this is balanced with this and this outer one with this so it's also balanced similarly here you see uh, you have a star then you encounter a closing bracket so you can keep track of uh, whenever the count of this closing bracket becomes more than the count of left you will convert one of the asterisk to opening bracket so you convert it to this now left is there you still don't convert it because you don't know future but then you see that you encounter a closing bracket so you will convert you will not convert it to anything you will just strike out and now it's balanced and there should be no spare opening or closing brackets and you are not allowed to convert these to anything else these will remain as it is only asterisks can be converted so what approach we will follow now let's see an example where this does not hold true so here you will try your best to make it balance so you see a closing bracket there is no opening bracket in the left so you make this asterisk to uh, opening bracket and now you have reached till here and it's looking good it's balanced but then you encounter this the third character and now the, you don't have uh, so you are expected to have either an asterisk here in the left i am drawing to the left arrow or this similarly for every open bracket you are expecting either a star to the right or a closing bracket to the right i am drawing the arrow rightwards so here you don't have any of such so you will say this is unbalanced now what approach we can follow so you see that uh, uh, this case we discovered when traversing from left to right and why we discovered it uh, because we are 
keeping track of the count of right bracket and left bracket or star. So at any moment of time, at any point of time, well, when we are traversing from left to right, we encounter a situation that uh, the count of this is more than the counts of uh, this opening bracket count of opening bracket plus count of asterisk let's this c denotes count so at any point of time you encounter the count of this is more than this let's say the count of this is 3 and the count of open bracket is 1 and the count of star is also 1 so this count denotes when you are traversing from left to right at the current character including the current character what is the total count till the beginning so in this case there is no way to balance it because you will convert this to open bracket still you will have total 2 and you have 3 closing brackets so there is no way to balance so when traversing from left to right if you encounter this situation that will be the case when it's unbalanced so you have discovered the unbalance due to closing bracket so unbalance can be due to when this is more than this the count of this or the other case the unbalance is due to opening bracket and this is not just simply count of this but count of uh, opening plus asterisk similarly you traverse from right to left and in traversing from right to left what you need to consider that you should not have any extra open bracket because uh, there is a corresponding closing bracket to the right of it and you have traversed from right to left and you reach a situation where number of opening brackets is more than the combined count of closing and asterisk so that is also the case where it's unbalanced and it will be due to this open bracket so we will see both of these approaches in the code once we will traverse from left to right and we will whenever we encounter a situation where the right brackets count is more than the combined count of open and star then we return false and while traversing from left to right if we have traversed the complete string and we see that count is zero that is balance balance factor is zero then it means we never encountered a situation uh, where uh, the number of closing bracket is more than this so in between also whenever we encounter a situation where number of closing bracket is more we return false because there is no way to balance we saw the logic here so in between also we return so we have reached till the end that means this situation did not happen so either the count will be more than zero or the count will be zero not less because if it was less at any point of time we would have returned so if count is zero then it's perfectly valid it's balanced we can balance it using converting this asterisk to left bracket but if the count is zero there are still possibilities of unbalanced due, unbalanced due to extra left bracket and that case will be handled when we traverse from right to left and apply this logic that at any point of time then the count of open bracket should not be more than combined count of closed and a star now let's implement uh, this same approach using c++ then java and finally python all the three uh, code will be very similar to each other there is not too much of difference as we will not be using any complex data structure other than string so let's begin so this is the problem being explained so first uh, let's try it in c++ so if s dot length is 
less than one then that is empty string return true you can also write it here equal to zero length cannot be negative then we have a balance factor which is zero initially if si equal to uh, the closing bracket so we have accounted for the current character and we have either added to it or subtracted from the balance factor and now we will check this should not be negative so let's say we are at third character i is 2 and we are at third character from the beginning and we see that till this point the balance is negative that means number of closing bracket is more than the count of opening bracket plus asterisk so even after converting all the asterisk to open bracket we cannot balance it so we will add that check if balance is less than 0 then return false and at the end of this loop either the balance will be greater than 0 or equal to 0 less than 0 we would have already returned so if balance equal to 0 then there is a way of uh, balancing this string by converting all the stars to open bracket or it was already balanced so we will return true but if it's more than 0 then we don't know yet for that we will start again we will start again with balance equal to 0 and now we will traverse from right to left so it should be as not length minus 1 and greater than equal to 0 and minus minus i and here we are checking for this unbalanced due to open bracket and again we will return at any point of time we don't have a corresponding closing bracket or asterisk and if none of these cases happen then finally we will return true so we have traversed the string completely and we did not encounter any unbalanced case so we will return true now let's run it and it works for this case let's try some more cases uh, star then star close bracket and it's also correct now this case and it works let's try one unbalanced case this one so it works so let's go ahead and submit and it's accepted so now we will write the same thing in uh, java let's copy this code as most of the syntax will also remain same uh, we need to copy from here and we will just change to java and length is also a function in java for strings so we don't need any change here s dot length it's fine here we will make it char at it's a function to get character at given index and uh, these all should work fine same here s dot char at let's see if it does not give any compilation error uh, not a statement where is it oh so why didn't we get error in c++ case compilation error 
that's strange does c++ support this let's resubmit it so that we don't submit it with some error okay now let's switch back to java and this will return true okay so let's submit our solution in java you saw there is just one difference caret and this solution is also accepted and finally we will uh, submit it in python so python there will be lots of changes here so first was length length of s is less than one then we return uh, true and here true you see t in capital unlike c++ or java then we have balance so balance equal to zero the same thing we will not make any changes here uh, then for c in s so this is the way in c++ also you have for c then uh, you give a colon and s and that is allowed in python it's in again you will check for uh, if c is this then you do minus minus okay i need to add a colon here And now we will add that same check if balance is less than zero. Return false. And now we close this loop by moving to this here, one tab left. And we will check if balance equal to zero return true then balance equal to zero we reinitialize it and we will do the same thing in reverse direction and here it will be this open and finally we return true and it works so i'm pretty hopeful it will work for all the cases since we have already checked in other languages only we needed some compilation issues so it's also accepted in python so i hope you enjoyed this approach please share your approach as there are many and many ways of solving the same problem and the time complexity for this would be order n because we are doing two scans of this string from left to right from right to left and uh, we are not using any additional memory so memory would be order one